And so uh, I'm sitting there and I'm talking to this dude and he says, oh, shit, do you see her? And I look up and I'm like, yeah, I, you know, it was a girl. She was giving head. And I was, you know, it wasn't no big deal. And he was like, yo, do you know who that is? And I look again like, am I supposed to know who that is? And he was like, yo, that's Randy's girl. Yo. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for checking out the latest edition of the 12 Kyle podcast. I'm 12 Kyle. All right. Check this out on this podcast. We're going to talk about bachelor parties. Uh, I'm going to, you know, enlighten you with what a bachelor party is and, you know, tell you how it goes down in bachelor parties. And I'm going to give you the exclusive on what went down at my bachelor party. And, uh, of course, you know, I got a couple of funny stories for you. So sit back, relax. I'll drop the theme music and we'll get the podcast jumping. Let's get it. Welcome back. As I mentioned at the top, I'm talking about bachelor parties. Uh, Honestly, there is a lot that I can tell you about bachelor parties. Uh, Then again, there's a lot that I can't tell you about bachelor parties. And the reason being is that this little thing called man laws. So, you know, I can't break any man laws, but I will keep it 100 with you. Um, I guess we probably should start off with what a bachelor party actually is um by webster's definition and i mean i know you don't need me to give you the definition but i would give it to you anyway since you're listening um by definition quote a bachelor party is a party given for a man who's about to get married typically attended by men only close quote um yeah so that's what it is uh i i will say this um just as a man, I think other men, we tend to get pretty excited uh, <laughs> when we find out that one of our fellow men are getting married because we know, one, they're getting married. And, you know, there's a level of it, of, you know, happiness and enjoyment for that person who's getting married. Um, and then there's also, you know, some some <laughs> a level of uh, happiness because of the shenanigans that will take place at the bachelor party. And there's always shenanigans that's going to take place at a bachelor party. I don't care where you go. I don't care what color you are. I don't care what your religion is, no matter what. Bachelor parties are usually off the chain. Um, So I guess, you know, you really have to kind of start there with the origin of what it is and and then how we actually feel about it. I know, um, you know, typically speaking, uh, especially at the time when me and my friends were getting married, uh, you know, we were like one of the first things you would hear, like you, you might get a, a text like Jojo's getting married. Right. And then the next text is, OK, what's up with the bachelor party? <laughs> I mean, it literally goes like that. Where's the bachelor party going to be? What do we need to do? Are we flying there? Are we driving there? You know, how much money do we need? That type of thing. So, you know, the, the wheels immediately get in motion when you know a wedding is announced and you know it's it's time for the bachelor party so um just like women tend to or some women i don't want to say all just like some women tend to kind of go into full speed ahead uh, uh, uh motive um when it comes to planning a wedding uh generally speaking that happens with men uh when it's time to uh <laughs> to plan the bachelor party um so full disclosure, I'm married. Uh, for those of you who don't know, been married at the time of this recording 17 years now. Uh, and so, you know, I'm pretty sure just based off the title, you want to hear about what went down at my bachelor party, because, you know, I know, you know, that my bachelor party was off the chain, right? Of course it was. <laughs> so here's what I'll tell you about my bachelor party. And I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. my bachelor party. 
didn't happen. <laughs> Honestly, I did not have a bachelor party. Um, and it wasn't because I didn't want to, because I really wanted one. Um, I, I wanted one and I wanted it to happen and I wanted it to pop off and, you know, all of these plans were supposed to be in motion. Um, but typically speaking, the groom and the, uh, excuse me, the, the best man is usually responsible. The best man or the best men and the, uh, you know, his friends and guys in a wedding party and all of that stuff. They're usually the ones who are responsible for planning and, you know, product and placement, if you will, <laughs> for the for the bachelor party. Um, in my case, uh, the person that was responsible for my bachelor party was my younger brother, my brother, Damon. So, um, you know, it, it, it was up to him to plan it and everything like that. Uh, we had one, one little problem. I don't want to call it a problem because it actually was a blessing. Um, his girlfriend, now wife at the time, was pregnant. And she was due right around the time, time of my bachelor party. My bachelor party was supposed to be, obviously, the night before my wedding. However, what happened was, was that his girlfriend goes into labor on the Friday, which is the day before I get I'm supposed to get married. So, you know, so there goes the plans as far as the bachelor and the bachelor party and the, you know, the best man planning everything or what have you. So I didn't see him. In fact, I did not see my brother until like 15 minutes before I got married the next day, uh, which was cool. I mean, it's no problem. No, no big thing. But so the the coordination of the bachelor party for me never happened. And now, yeah, there are other groomsmen. So, you know, somebody could have picked up the ball, but given the location where our wedding was and, you know, everything else, it was just a, it was a lot of stuff going on. I don't blame him. I mean, that's my brother. That's the only brother I have. I love him to death. So, you know, it's no big deal. Uh, I just didn't have a bachelor party. So, you know, I, I, I have to go to other bachelor parties, you know, and, and, you know, kind of, <laughs> kind of live through them, if you will. Um, you know, but the right way. Um, but nonetheless, man. So, so I never had a bachelor party. Now I will say, uh, some things did go down, uh, the night before my wedding. They didn't go down with me, but, um, you know, I'll let, you know, some of the groomsmen, uh, <laughs> I'll let them tell you about it. I'll let them tell that story. I I'm not going to tell it on this podcast. Um, so yeah, so I never had one. I, I, when I look at the landscape of my friends, uh, who have had bachelor parties, you know, and I also have to think about the ones who are still single and have not gotten married. Um, I've got a couple partners who, if and when they do get married, I'm going to be in their weddings. And, um, you know, so that means that they are, you know, bachelors and they will have a bachelor party. Uh, I can think of, I can, I, I got two friends, right. Who I probably, and I can't necessarily claim this, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say that I'm probably going to be their best man, the best man at their weddings. Um, and one of them, I, I I think I, you know, I'll probably be one of his best men. I won't be his. I'll be a groomsman. I won't be his best man. His, his brother's probably gonna be his best man. So, his his if and when he gets married, his bachelor party is gonna be nice. It, it's gonna be nice. I will love planning that. I know it won't be here in the continental United States. Uh, so that will be fun. Um, my other partner who I've talked about on this podcast, my boy Jay Fresh. Um, Jay Fresh. It, I don't think he's ever going to get married. Uh, <laughs> and I think he's totally cool with that. But Jay Fresh is a freak, right? So if you go to his bachelor party, everybody's fucking. <laughs> I mean, like, well, not me, but everybody who can be fucking will be fucking. I mean, that's just, that's how he gets down. So, like, I know for a fact, like, it's going to be, like, mad strippers, like, mad, mad everything. Because um, he's just like that. You would have to know him, but, I mean, like, he's he's a, na I don't want to say nasty. He's just a freak. So, anything freaky that can be done, he's going to do it. And he's definitely going to do it on the night before. Which leads me to the thought of, I don't know when it came into came to pass where, because the, the night, 
traditionally a bachelor party is just supposed to be a celebration of the you know the bachelor you know his last night of singlehood now and i won't i'm not gonna sit here and say that every dude you know bangs out a chick you know at his bachelor party that probably doesn't happen to most people um but it has happened um but i I think i don't know when that came about when it was just like almost expected that the dude was supposed to smash some chick some stripper or something like that at his bachelor party i haven't seen it um but i do know that it's happened um so yeah if 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 and when jay fresh if you ever hear me get on the podcast or you see me tweet or something about jay fresh getting married which again i don't think it's going to happen um you know he's I, i can't see him you know not to say that he's not marriage material, but his ideas and thoughts of marriage, I don't think is going to, going to, going to work. But, um, if, he, if, and when he does, uh, his bachelor party, I will probably be the only person that's not having sex in the bachelor party. His, his bachelor party might be as just a straight up orgy. <laughs> he is that wild. So, um, nonetheless, so yeah, it gets me to thinking about, you know, when I think about bachelor parties, I think about, you know, my friends who have had bachelor parties and ones who haven't, um, and then, you know, obviously you, you get to thinking about stories and, and memories of bachelor parties. Uh, I've seen, I've been to a few. Um, I'll put it like that. I, if I had to put a number on it, maybe 10, maybe. Um, obviously, some of my closest friends who've gotten married, their bachelor parties were really cool. Ironically, the wildest bachelor parties were the ones that I went to with people who I would call necessarily associates, not necessarily friends. Um, and there's a couple of things that I found that tend to happen at bachelor parties. Uh, first and foremost, uh, rule number one, the wildest dudes at the bachelor parties are the married dudes. (laughs) I don't know why I can't, well, I know why, but almost always, almost every bachelor party that I've gone to the wildest cat at the bachelor party was the married dude. I don't know if it's because he ain't been out the house. I don't know if it's because this old lady ain't giving him none. I don't know what the case may be, but generally speaking, the wildest dude or the wildest dudes at the bachelor party is the married dudes. And so, you know, they, I don't know what it is. You know, they just tend to just go, you know, kind of hard. They kick it like that. So, you know, I'm not here to disturb anybody's steez, but yeah, that's, that's, that's how they do it. Um, And like I said, you know, second thing I observed about bachelor parties is that here recently, probably in the last 20, 30 years or so, you know, there's depending on where you go and depending on who, you know, you know, there's an expectation that, you know, something's going to go down, you know, either you're going to be going to smash, you get some head or something. So, you know, I'm not. And and again, I don't want to get anyone into trouble by saying that that happens at every bachelor because i haven't seen it at the bachelor parties as far as my friends let me just clear my friends out of this um but some of the associates whose bachelor parties i've gone to you know they 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 can get kind of wild um which brings me to uh a story (laughs) um i remember going to a bachelor party of a friend of a friend's um so a cat who i knew pretty cool you know so and, and that's another thing too like you really don't want to go to bachelor parties for people who you really don't know because there'll be other dudes in that circle and you know and that ain't really the space you know where you really want to kind of interact with cats who you really don't know you want to you want there want there should be some type of level of comfort with the men who are you know assembling for the bachelor party um because you don't want to <laughs> you don't want to run into any lames if you will at the bachelor party um but yeah, so anything can anything can and will happen at a bachelor party. Uh, I remember going to a bachelor party, and we were sitting in this uh, we were sitting in this guy's living room, and you know we we're waiting on uh, and dude had a you know pretty nice size living room. So it's about we're probably about I don't know 13, 14 deep, and it's supposed to be three strippers supposed to be coming through, right? So we in there chilling, and uh, <laughs> it's funny because this is like. This had to be like the early 2000s, I guess. And um, uh, somebody put on a DVD. And so, you know, the dude in, in his living room, like he had 
this big screen TV. He had like the surround sound, the whole nine, right? So, you know, of course they put in a DVD. The DVD's a porno. Okay, no, no problem. And you know, for those of you listeners, I don't think it's it's unreal for you know for the idea of you know 12, 13 guys sitting around looking at a porno. Okay, so the porno comes on. Right. So, you know, it's, you know, you take a look at it, you know, looking at it, whatever, whatever. So we still, we laugh and we joke. It's for me, it's on, but it's not on. I'm not really paying that much attention to it because, you know, I'm having this, <laughs> this really funny conversation with the dude sitting next to me. And so, um, cat by the name of Ray. So I'm talking to Ray and, you know, I don't know, a couple minutes pass or whatever like that. And apparently, I guess, and this was, and this, I, I'll, <laughs> Full disclosure, this this DVD that was on, um, it was, you know, it was kind of, it's kind of bootleg. <laughs> so, you know, it was, it was one of those low budget, and for those of you listening, don't act like you ain't, ain't seen no low budget porno. You, you know you've seen low budget porno. But anyway, another story for another day. Um, so, nonetheless, so it's low budget, so I guess the scenes changed or whatever, and a new girl was on the screen or whatever like that. And... Um, so, so the, you know, scene comes on again, I'm not really paying that much attention to it. And so, uh, I'm sitting there and I'm talking to this dude and he says, Oh shit. Do you see her? And I look up and I'm like, yeah, you know, it was a girl. She was giving head and I was, you know, it wasn't no big deal. And he was like, yo, do you know who that is? And I look again like, am I supposed to know who that is? And he was like, yo, that's Randy's girl. (laughs) I paused for a second and Randy is one of his best friends. And I'm like, wow, are you serious? And the funny thing is at that particular time, Randy had gone out to get some beer and he was on his way back to the spot. (sighs) Uh (laughs) Uh-oh. So immediately I said, hey man, are you sure that's his girl? I was like, his girlfriend, girlfriend? He was like, yeah, that's his girl. He's like, you see the tattoo on her shoulder? He's like, and she had like this crazy lion and eagle tattoo on both of her shoulders. And he was like, that's her. And, and, and from the angle that she was, you know, giving head, you could clearly see the tattoo on her shoulder. And it, you know, I admit I'd seen Randy's girl before. Now, judging from from this video, I must I'm under the assumption that this video was filmed and recorded before she started dating Randy. Uh, well, you know, nonetheless, I don't know if Randy knows this and randy really could be walking in the door at any minute so we're at the bachelor party and so the dude was like oh man she nice she nice you know like giving all kind of compliments and so dude was like hey man we need to turn this off (laughs) and so dudes was like what what man we ain't turning this off we ain't turning this off we're gonna keep this on until the strippers get here he's like nah son we need to turn this off for real and I was like, you know what? We probably should. Because <laughs> to be honest, I didn't know what to do. So um, he got them to turn the DVD off. And like like five minutes later, the doorbell rings. It's the strippers, whatever, whatever. And so he pulls me to the side. And he was like, yo, should I tell Randy? Tell him what? <laughs> He's like, man, should I tell him that his girl is on this on this video? I was like, look, man. You do what you want to do. I'm about to go watch these strippers. <laughs> and I walked out the room. <laughs> and to this day, I don't know if he ever told Randy or not. I mean, again, you know, anything can go down at a, at a, at a, at a bachelor party. Um, the second story I had for you uh, was, uh, <laughs> this one was weird. <laughs> okay, let me set the scene, right? I had a, there was a cat that I went to high school with. And he lived in my subdivision and he's older than me. And he saw me one day. And he was like, yo, he was like, one of the homies is getting married. And I was like, word. And I knew this guy, but I didn't know him like that. But he was like, yo, he's like, come through. He's like, we having a bachelor party at his crib. And I was like, well, when the bachelor party? He was like, it's Saturday. He's like, come through. And the dude li- literally lived like two minutes away. 
So I was like, okay, that's dope. I can just ride around there and, you know, I can I, I don't have to worry about drinking too much because, you know, I'm not too far from home. So I'm straight. So, you know, I get a bottle and uh, I go to the bachelor party. So I get there and, you know, so we're chilling or whatever. And again, I saw the dude, who, the, 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 the groom, the future groom, if you will, dapped him up, said, what's up? Congrats. You know, the whole now we sit down. This dude, he's got this huge, beautiful house, huge crib. And so um, everybody's upstairs. I kind of make my way downstairs because he had like this uh, theater room. I'm in a theater room and I was watching. They, I think the game was on or something like that. So come back upstairs. And by the time I come back upstairs, you know, the strippers are there or whatever like that. So it's we're probably about it's probably about 15 dudes. Right. And it's four strippers. And all of them was banging. All of them look good. Right. So it's like, OK, so, you know, they, they they're talking or whatever like that. They're saying, you know, what, what they're going to do and this and that. And, you know, you kind of laying the ground rules or whatever like that. And, you know, I really wasn't paying attention. I think somebody was texting me or something. And, um, oh, yeah, one of the boys was texting me saying he was on the way. So I was texting him back. And I, and I specifically heard one of the strippers say, like, look, one rule is don't try to stuff no money in my pussy. <laughs> okay. I mean, you know, I, I can understand that. And so, you know, it, you I guess if somebody gives you a rule like that, I don't think that's too hard to comply, right? So anyway, so you know, cats cut the music on my man. He's like I said, he's got this huge crib, and he's got surround sound. He's got you know music blasting all through the house. Had a D. Well, he I guess he had like the little uh, DJ mixer or whatever like that. So he had the music going or whatever like that. So it was a festive occasion, man. They had the food was crazy, drinks. I mean, like we had it was so much food and so, you know, so many drinks, or whatever like this. I was just really just having a good time. I had a couple ones in my pocket. Uh, anybody knows me knows that I'm not, you know, you, you got to work for your ones <laughs> when it comes to me and strippers. Uh, so nonetheless, I'm having a good time. I'm chilling. And so, you know, like I said, it's four girls, 15 dudes. You know, I, I'm again at this particular time, I'm married. So, you know, I'm not. I don't need nothing. I'm coming there just to have a good time, and I'm gonna take my ass home, right? So, we're with. I guess the stri- the, the the strippers are probably about an hour in, you know. So everybody's just so you know they're getting dances, they're doing tricks and all stuff like that. And so, um, I you know I was interested in what was going on, obviously there, but I was also interested in whatever was happening in the game. So I my plan was to go back downstairs to the uh, theater room, right? So <laughs> I go down to the theater room and here's what happened while I'm upstairs. I mean, while I'm downstairs upstairs, I guess one of the strippers was, you know, she was doing the trick or whatever like that. And she was on her back. Just picture this, right? She's on her back or whatever like that. And one of the fellas, a married dude, I guess. Um, that's my guess. I don't know. Cause I don't know who, I don't know who was the culprit. Um, tried to stick a 20 in her and the next thing i know she got mad and she just started cussing i could hear the commotion from downstairs she got mad she started cussing motherfucker don't you da, 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 da. and she just going off and then she reaches in her bag and pulls out a gun <laughs> motherfucker i'll shoot you okay (laughs) by this time i'm on my way back upstairs i see her with the iron in her hand and i mean it's like uh this gotta be like a nine or something (sighs) nice nice looking nine too by the way and so by that time i mean like you could have heard a record scratch i mean like everybody everybody who was drunk sobered up everybody who was high you know sobered up everybody who was doing any i mean like the world stopped when she pulled that gun out and so she was just like fuck this i'm i'm done i'm leaving i'm i'm out of here and so she went upstairs into one of the bedrooms and she was just changing clothes or whatever like that so the other strippers stopped doing what they were doing and they had to kind of go calm her down and everything like that and so so the, you know so we were trying to figure out what happened and cats were talking or whatever and so I, when I found out who the guy was that tried to stick the 20 in her, I was like, hey, homeboy. I pulled him to the side. I was like, hey, homeboy, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. You probably want to leave. <laughs> if she's 
bold enough to pull a gun on you, you probably want to leave while you can. So, you know, so homeboy left or whatever. And, you know, you know, we told her that, you know, dude had left or whatever. She was just so mad that she was disrespected and this and that. So, you know, she had threatened to leave. They they all had threatened to leave. And, you know, they had already gotten paid, I guess. You know, at least some of the money they had gotten. So, um, so yeah, they, um, you know, so, but came back down and, you know, finished doing what they were doing. <laughs> so, yeah, man, bachelor parties, anything can and will go down at a bachelor party. Um, if you're planning a bachelor party, you know, just make sure that you, you know, you know, try to have some fun because that's what it's supposed to be about. Right. <laughs> Thanks again for checking out another edition of the 12 Kyle podcast. I'm your boy, 12 Kyle. I'll catch you guys next time. Five G's.